I want to tell you what I did at the beginning, a few years ago. I have not seen anyone use such a tool. I made it to level my surface plate. In the end I got what I wanted. I called it Lapin Bar. Now higher places are visible on the surface, where the surface begin to shine. For the next leveling I used a mild abrasive with kerosene. It was an abrasive from a Dremel kit. Lapping improves the plane of the plate and the plane lapping bar too. Why did the stripes appear? The reason is the magnetic plate. It magnetized the bar. Then a finer abrasive. Notice how close the bar is now to the stove. This conforms in print. After polishing thoroughly clean, rinse with kerosene and wipe. I used a homemade repeater meter. The mechanical comparator reads 1 micron. Luckily, I have a footage. It was three years ago. Now back to how it started.
the work piece was processed on the surface grinding. Sandpaper first. The magnetic stripes are again visible. I am making a print. So far Neither the plate nor the bar is very even. But in the process their accuracy will increase. I cut high places. You can use a scraper, but I used a rubber abrasive tip. I did this job a few years ago, but then I didn't have these comfortable flat stones, and I used sandpaper. Next trace of paint. The contact area has increased. This is how the surfaces interact at this stage. In order to better align them, I use lapping with the soft abrasive. Lapping bar is applied after preliminary control surface and its preliminary alignment. It is used for the final leveling of surfaces prepared by other methods. I have already made a video about this preliminary preparation. Now a fine abrasive. As a result, the surface became very flat. Micro keto with division scale 2 tenths of a micron. If this plane measuring 400 by 400 millimeters we proportionally increase a thousand times, we would get such a square. But then, deviation in height from the ideal plane 
would be less than one millimeter. Thank you. Goodbye.